Let's get this thing started. On this show, anything could happen. It's gonna be a main <laughs> Okay. Welcome to the Derek and Jess and the Family Nest show right here on YouTube and Blog Talk Radio, or as we like to call it, Fifty Shades of Jess. What? <laughs> what? Right, right. like the... Okay. Okay, that's, that's kind of creepy though, this right? This is a little picture, a little creepy picture of Jess. My face. Right here. Photoshopped her in. Kind of squeezed her down. That's put, my husband. Put her hair, out of the bag. Put, this is actually, uh, what's her name? Uh, something... Anastasia. Steve? Anastasia. There's Joe right there looking over old, uh, what's Gray's first name? Oh my gosh. I Christian. can't remember. Christian So Gray. creepy. Fifth, uh, today's episode is about 50 shades of more of Jess. Mwah. We got a little, and if you can, I put a little blush on her. She's blushing. So creepy. Just a little bit. You're blushing. What did you do to my eyebrows? Well, this little eyebrow kind of got cut off, so I just kind of, I kind of pointed it. Yeah, it looks. <laughs> so I know. I want. And because you didn't put my face in the proper spot, I have what up double chin. I know. I just wanted so to make it bad. so. It's a representation of Jess. We just didn't want to plaster Jess in there, Fifty Shades, but it is a representation. Right. That's just dead on picture. I didn't do anything to Joe. He's just peeking. <laughs> He's peeking over. God, so creepy. Oh, shoot. Hey, uh, again, we have changed once again because of... Uh, conflicts. Scheduling, scheduling conflicts. So we are recording on a Sunday. We'll be out on a Tuesday. Tuesday evening. Um, so you have all week to catch up on it. Come on, people. Yes. No excuses. Absolutely. Uh, you can find out everything you need to know about us at our... Uh, website. At our website, Derek... Uh, uh, and Jess. Uh, yeah, right? Derek and oh, Jess. That's no, our email. Derek, this is our email. Derek and Jess at gmail.com. Go to uh, D and J Nest. Uh, is DNJ net? No, it's Derek and Jess dot net. net. That's what it is. Why yeah. can't I get that out? Because we have like nine hundred things. That's we have. It. But we want to talk about Derek and Jess. Uh, it's email and email. it's D and Jess D and J nest at gmail dot com because we got an email. email. Now, yes, it was from my sister in law, but we got an email nonetheless. And and I said we'd shout it out. So Morgan Lawson shouting out, shouting out. And it was about. The it was about the um, immunization. Immunizations. That's exactly right. It was a very, very, very good email, and it actually made me do deeper digging into the mm -hmm. situation here. Yeah. And uh, I really liked what the email said, and she was basically just stating what uh, she thinks uh, is basically on the side of parents wanting other parents to immunize, immunize, immunize. their children yeah. because of kids that are very, very sick that um, have horrible immune systems because they're either going through chemo mm -hmm. or ca cancer stuff, all, all the bad diseases right. that a kid could have. And when they're all done and they go out into the real world, they're, they're like system is mm -hmm. shot down. So even if they get a flu, the cold. Yeah. So that's, that's, and that was a really good point. It, it and it actually good. makes me want to say immunization should be mandatory almost. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And we talked about that last, uh, Derek and Jess, again, you can go to, uh, Derek and Jess.net and find that show. Uh, so uh, Morgan, Woohoo! Yeah, it was out. a great, and it was, it gave me a lot to think about, and it should give all you mm -hmm. viewers and you parents out there a lot to think about, like, uh, reflect inside and think if your kids ever had a life-threatening illness, wouldn't you want other kids, mm -hmm. uh, other kids to be immunized? So right. think about that for your kids and yeah. get also, immunized. Yes. Also, you can follow us on Twitter at yes. DNJ Nest. You can follow our Facebook. Just go to Derek and Jess. And the Everything's family. there. Hey, Facebook. I want this. I, I was proud of this. What were you proud of? I was proud of this on our Facebook. Yes. Okay. Um, we try and put things local. Onto, tons of stuff. Tons of stuff local. Did you happen to see the little? I see uh, everything. Did okay. Never mind then. That's all I had. <laughs> uh, did you see the little uh, mommy kiss it video that I yes. put up? I like that one. Go to Derek and Jess and the Family Nest Facebook. He puts everything. Here's what I was proud of. 
I had to have been. I had to have been. Derek and Jess and the family nest had to have been the very first website or Facebook post besides East Otero School District to shout out the two hour delay. Oh, that's true. You were on it. I was on it before they put it on. I had it up ready one minute after they put it on. I know. I'm so proud of you. Bam! It was well, you basically put it on right when my husband was finding out. That's right. And my husband, you know, works in the school. So that's right. It's pretty, you it were was quick, Derek. Boom! It was. You were quick. It was. I was. I was like, Proud. man, oh man, look at that! Mm -hmm. I did it. And that's why you should follow him. Follow us on our Facebook page because he literally posts everything. Derek that we and want Jess to know. and the family nest. We want to get into a little bit of Lahana news. One of the things that's on our Derek and Jess and the family nest Facebook. Uh, page is this thing that's coming up for oh, yeah. southeast? The dress. So, no, oh, wait. Well, we're gonna go. Okay. We're gonna get to that. So the the southeast uh, health group yes. has something that's that's called a mud sport, and a southeast health group obviously isn't it the mud run? Is that the, basically what it is? You it's know, like, yeah, it, it, it is. It, I did this sport. last year. It's it's uh, Saturday, April twenty fifth, and we didn't know anything about it. So we, we've got somebody uh, yes. on the line here. We're going to bring on uh, Bo Tamir. Uh, Bo is, works at Southeast Health Group. Yes, he's in charge of the Shindig. I don't, yeah, we're going to find out. Bo, can you hear us? Yep. How's it going, guys? Okay. Hey, Bo. All right. So, Bo, so Bo we're, we're trying to tell people on our show here about the mud sports for Southeast Health Group uh, that's on April 25th, Saturday, April 25th. What is this all about, and what can people expect if they sign up for this mud sport? So if you've ever done a Spartan run or one of those, it's, it's similar. Uh, we're not timing people, though. I mean, we will have a timer for people who want to know their time, but you can either walk it or run it. It's a little bit more laid back. For all ages, zero to you don't feel like you can do this. Um, and we'll have a mini mudder, zero to five, then a... Yep. No, that's the micro. Then the mini, which is 6 to 12, and then 13 and up is the adults. But it is subject to a uh, parent's decision. So if you feel that your son or daughter can run the full race and they're 11, uh, you're free to do that. It's just the, the liability lies with them. Um, first 500 people will get a goodie bag and a free T-shirt. Um, register by April 13th if you want the T-shirt the day of the race, anytime after that. We'll have to deliver it to you. Um, okay. It starts at 9 a.m. 9 a.m. will be the first heat, and we'll have 15-minute heats. Um, like every 15 minutes, we'll release people. We don't expect you to finish the entire 5K and the obstacles in, in 15 minutes. So that's what it is. We will go down the Arroyo from our 7-Eleven Barnes main office is where it will start. Uh, okay. We'll have designated parking, I believe, in the school right next door at the primary school. And... Uh, so we'll start it, you go down the Arroyo, all the way down to the Arkansas River, cross it. Uh, on the, along the way, there will be many obstacles, and then you come back across the Arkansas and back to right behind our office, where there will be lots more obstacles. So you'll jump over fire, go through a ice tub, um, crawl and pipe. Yeah, I did I mean, it's, it was awesome. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> very many different wait obstacles second, every year. Second, this is our did you say... Wait, did you say jump over fire? Yes, I did that. I jumped jump over, over fire. fire. Absolutely. <laughs> Bo, do you remember me there last year? I totally did it with my father. I remember, and the, that I, fire is going to get bigger and bigger every year. Oh. Well, I just hope the weather is nicer than last year, Bo. I love the weather because it rained all night before and that morning, so talk about a, a true mud sport. It was it muddy. Was yeah. Yes, I liked the mud, pieces. but I didn't like how cold it was. <laughs> yeah, okay, it was so it was windy and cold. <laughs> here's the question I have: Can I can I sign up and then walk it? Yeah, he just said that. Oh, he Absolutely. Said that. Okay. So there's no oh, okay. no pressure to run. You can walk it. You can you know in some of those Spartan runs, if you choose to skip an obstacle, like some of them kind of make people claustrophobic or whatever it may be. Um, they choose fire. to skip and it's have to do 30. not getting burned up. No, it, that sounds, but, it's yeah. really fun. So it's, it's not life-threatening at all. It's not yeah, life-threatening. And at those places, they make you do 30 up-downs. We're not doing anything like that. If you choose to skip one, you skip it, go right ahead. No, we won't have a, you know, mud sport police there or anything like that. Uh, what time is it at? 
So it starts at 9 a.m. will be the micro, the really young kids, and then every 15 minutes they'll go in increments from there. But we do want people there um, early to to register, make sure they got their bags, make sure they're ready to go, and it'll be pretty cute to watch the little zero to five year olds run around. I'm sure. And does it Um, cost anything, Bo? What's that? Yeah. So ages 12 and under is 15 dollars. Ages 13 and up is 30 dollars which I know to some people sounds like a lot, but if you've ever done a Spartan run, it's between like 120 and 150 a person. So this is much, much cheaper. Well, then under um, there is okay. new this year. We have a corporate or team challenge. So businesses, mm-hmm. sports teams, schools, whoever, if you get six people, and six people is the minimum, and it's $120. And uh, first place will win a trophy. We're making a nice trophy for that, and you get to take it and keep it in your office and show off to all the other businesses in towns that you're the, the fittest. All six must cross the finish line for you to, to win. Oh, crud. Um, and what, <laughs> who do the proceeds, like, what, what is this, what is this benefit what's it for? cause? Yeah. Like, what's the cause? This is just to, to kind of create, uh, you know, fun competition between the businesses and schools throughout the, the valley. So uh, oh. what's the cause of the entire mud sport or just the corporate challenge? The, oh. the entire thing. Do, do, do the proceeds go to Southeast Health Group? Is there a pers- uh, particular project that you guys are, are trying to raise money for, or is it just kind of a fundraiser for Southeast Health? Yeah, so originally this started for Children's Mental Health Month, and now it's just it's been growing and growing. But uh, we are a nonprofit, and any <laughs> we, okay. we usually, I mean, we put a lot of money into this, and we don't charge enough to really make any money. But if we ever did, yes, it would, of course, go back into Southeast to create more uh, um, things that we can do for the public, you know. So we, we're right. a nonprofit. We never get any money. <laughs> okay, uh, Bo. So here's yeah, the big it, it here's is, the big question that I have for you. Then, are you going to be timing and doing all this thing? Or are you actually going to run this thing? So we, the people who put it on, uh, will have uh, lots of volunteers from the community and and some from uh, quite a few from our agency. We get to run it the day before, so we're kind of the oh. testers to, you know, see if, if anything is off. We need to raise a, a, an obstacle, a wall higher, or anything of that sort. Is the sort. fire too and big? Did it catch anybody? <laughs> fire fire exactly, yeah. Fire, Did your man? shoes yeah. catch on fire? <laughs> <laughs> so we're, we're the <laughs> guinea pigs the day before. That way the day of, we can, we can help you guys out. We'll, we'll be directing traffic and, you know, uh, anything like that. We do have a... Callie Mann, Rochelle, our, our nurse and uh, physician, will be there, uh, I think, on four-wheelers. So in case there is any, you know, injuries or anything like that, we do have people on hand. I think there were firefighters on hand, so I mean, we'll, we're ready to go. There's porta potties There's places to change. Uh, well, I mean, we're set. We've been, this is the third year. I think the first year we had around 100. Last year we had about 250, and we're expecting at least 500 this year. So it's growing. Ooh, it's wow. about doubling every year. Yeah, that that will be great. We were. I thought there was a lot last year, so. You know what we should do, Jeff? Yeah, last year's so we should, we should get the, we should get the corporate together. Get everybody from the Road Less Travel from all of our shows. Me, you, Dad, Jake, Jacob, Jacob, Jeremy. Get six people. See if we can win that. See, the problem would be, I think, is that I don't think I'd get across the finish line, and I'd be the one that would ruin well, you it. You could walk as I'd, long as you finish. I'd fall in the fire. It would. <laughs> <laughs> be good at all. Hey, Bo, thanks so much for coming on this show and, and letting us know. So we're going to keep announcing this, everyone on the show, up to April 25th. There's there's a lot of time. Uh, and you said April 13th is is, is the that the last day you could register? Is that the last day that you could yeah, register? Yeah, register by. Okay, for a good bag. Is nope. that right? There's no cutoff. You can show up day of and register that morning. It's just if you want your T-shirt that day to be made oh, and ready. Oh, God, uh, yeah. that's good to know. Yeah. And so then you one more thing, if you yeah. do want to register, if you mm-hmm. do want to register, southeasthealthgroup.org has either online registration or you can print the um, the sheet, the sign-up sheet, and then bring it to us. We'll spread it around the schools and I think OJC, I mean, as many agencies we can, we'll take registration forms there. And you can always just walk into our office at 7-Eleven Barnes, and there will be registration uh, sheets there. So many different ways to register if you're interested. 
Cool. Yeah, and we're going to do that. We're going to keep putting it up on our Facebook at Derek and Jess and the Family Nest. Make sure that uh, definitely uh, we'll keep throwing it up all the way up until, and we'll we'll uh, uh, we'll have you on again as we get closer, and you can. Uh, maybe you can show us how exactly high the fire is going to... I'm freaked out, Jess. Oh, my God. The fire has got it's me not, freaked it's, out, it's, man. No, really? No, it's not like a, a bonfire. It's not a bonfire. It's like a little baby fire. It's a little baby fire. Okay. Hey, Bo, thank you so much for taking your time out today. Just letting us know. We'll have you back on. Thank you, And Bo. we will keep pushing this uh, mud sport. So you sure that everybody knows we're going to keep putting it up. All, mud sports It's going to be a blast. Um, And you said we didn't know much about it? False. I did this last year with my father. And yes, did my father beat me? Absolutely, he did. And I, is he like triple my age? Absolutely. He beat me. But, um... Did you just say your dad was triple your age? Well, he's more than double. Okay, but more oh, wait, than double... No, he's not. He's not more than double. Oh my gosh, I'm tired, y'all. I'm sorry. But he's just much, much older than me, and he beat me. He's that much in shape. Triple your age? <laughs> You should tell him so 90-year-old George oh Larson okay. beat he's, his, his... He's double my age, and he literally beat me. Now, granted, this was Jess, like after you? I had a baby. How old are you, Jess? I'm going to be 32 this summer. Okay, and you just said he was double your age. How old do you think your father is? I know he's... he's Okay, he's not First double. of all, do you know what double 32 is? OMG. 50 shades of jazz. It's just... <laughs> I'm going to tell you your dad you thought okay, he was 64 not, was, years okay, old. Okay, first of all, I was... I was being facetious, more oh, or less. Oh, okay. Okay, but he he, is old. he's like 56, 57, but he rocked it. He totally, like, I was choking on his dust, basically. Your dad is 57 years old? Pretty positive. Okay. 56, 56 or 57. 56 or 57, we're going to verify that, make sure. Uh, 50 Shades of Jess is just 50 brilliant, shades awesomeness. Of just Check this out, mud sport. We're gonna keep throwing it on. It's gonna. I great. loved it. I Everybody did. from even if you're not uh, from Lahaina, oh, yeah. from somebody, come down the weekend of. Uh, it's gonna be. It's gonna be fun. I don't know if I'm gonna run, but I'm surely gonna be out there taking pictures of just jumping over the fire. Fantastic. <laughs> Hey, I want to bring up some other th something else. This isn't La Hunta news. This is everything news. Okay, the shirt. Okay, yeah. But Sweet. before we do oh, that, though, I really want to get to that shirt. Before we do that, I want to get to something that is local. Okay. Uh, I made a big deal about this last week, okay. last time. I did. I made a stink about steel magnolias. He did. I, I did. I made a stink about it. It's an all-female cast. Next woman power, woman power. Whoop, whoop, That's what I'm talking whoop. about right there. I have since since last week. Uh, I'm okay with it. It's going to be fantastic. It's going to be at the Picket Wire. It's going to be fantastic. And the cast list is amaze balls. Has been released. Is yeah. that correct? I have it. Just got a hold hear of it. For me. I got a hold of it because I have my peeps. I have my peeps. Do you want to hear? And so this is the cast list. For Steel Magnolias, all female cast. Okay. Who, 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 who's on it? Who's on it? Okay. So I'm, I'm going to be talking about Truvy, yep. Anel, Clary, Shelby, Clary. Weezer, yep. and Malin. Weezer. Okay? I like Weezer. So let's go with Malin. Malin. Okay, Malin. Malin yeah. and Shelby, which is mother-daughter in the cast. Right. And Malin is going to be played by your very own Don Paul Miller. Of yes. LJ. Mm -hmm. And then her daughter, Shelby, is going to be played by Shelly Feister. Okay. And to put it in perspective, for those who have seen the movie, Sally Field and, and, uh, and Julia Roberts. Yes, accurate. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. And um, uh, let's go with Truvy, who was played by Dolly Parton. Dolly Parton. That is going to be Rachel Patrick. Rachel Patrick. Woo -woo. Okay. Okay. And then Anel, who is the Bible thumper, right? Um, younger gal that works alongside Truvy in the in the beauty shop. Yeah. She's going to be played by Jordan Thompson. Jordan Thompson. And then Clary and Weezer, who are the older lady friends. Weezer's the yeah. That's the, Shirley MacLaine, and I can't remember yes. the name of the other. Clary, one. I don't know her. Yeah, I don't know no. her name, but you'd recognize. Mm, but her, Weezer yeah. is going to be played by Carla Clark. <laughs> and Clary is going to be played by Sue Samanego. Does the entire congrats, yes, congratulations. Does the entire 
play take place in the bar in the beauty shop or not? Pretty positive, but don't quote me on that. I think that it is a, a one set yeah, type okay. of thing okay. with possibly a couch in the back that they you know navigate towards. Right. I don't know. Right. It's going to be. It's uh, going to be fantastic. And it's April. 18th, 16th, 17th, 18th, okay. something April like that. Ish. Middle of April. Middle so of we'll, April. So we'll tell yeah. you again later. We'll have Tracy on. Uh, who's the director? Do you remember? Yes, the director is Brenda Irwin and Brenda assisted Irwin. by Tracy. So we'll Tracy's get, the we'll get one director. of those on, two of those on. Maybe we'll yes. get a couple of the actresses in. Uh, yeah. on the shows to be able to talk as we get closer and closer to Steel Magnolias. Uh, that might that be... That way you guys actually go because it's going to be yeah. amazing and you it's, should go. Yeah, it's going to be fantastic. The other thing that I want to talk about, I mean, you and I, are, this has become a... Oh my gosh. A phenomenon. Phenomenon. A, a viral phenomenon. And y'all, y'all will know what we're talking about. It's the, the shirt. It's the, the dress. infamous dress. Yeah. Is it black and blue? Is it white and gold? White and gold. It's black and blue. It's white I don't gold. know why you keep saying. It's white and gold. It. Now I wish that we had set it up so that we could play against each other, and and but it's absolutely true. We're not making we're not making this up so that so that the the show will come out good. I can't. One hundred percent saw black and blue before I even got here. Now I will say Vice this. Versa, I, I will say this. I'm colorblind. Okay. But I'm, I can see shades. I know what it is. And I can tell you that that dress is the same as this and this. Not, not even in the slightest. I don't understand this how you can... is white. Okay, that is... All right. White. Okay. White. White. Okay. White. Yeah. And this is all gold. Well, that's just racist. I don't know why... <laughs> It is not. 100%. You can look at it and obviously see that it is black. <coughs> I can look at it and obviously see that it's white and gold. 100%. I don't even know where you get gold from. You're on some sort of cocaine well, You know what? From this, from this angle, it actually almost looks more like a tan. Tan? Like a, a bronze from this angle of what I'm looking at. Okay. Correct. See, that is that is where... Anyway, it's a, anyway there's a so lot... What is this color to you then? What is this color? I'm blue. told that it's blue. It's the same color as this. Right no, there. 100% these are way too different. This is blue. This is white. Okay. The, the, well, no. And so you're wrong. So you can sit there in your wrongness. Okay. And be wrong. It, it's ugly. But Jimbo, what do you think it is? Jimbo, you look at... you. Can, oh, for <gasps> crying out loud. White and gold... Jimbo's on my it is, It's not even close to being oh, white. Oh, I feel sad Have for you, you seen the Facebook things, though? That's funny. There was one that said um, it was a white cat that had uh, uh, green eyes. It said, look at this beautiful black cat with blue eyes. It, had, it was, it, uh, it's making it's fun of all this. It's everywhere. But you know what? My best friend thinks it's white and gold too. Her husband was like, "No, that's black and blue." Exactly. So and so weird that to we me. know that that Cameron, Cameron, yeah, Cameron is absolutely right. Big no, shout out to Cameron. No, he's wrong. Tracy, you're wrong. I'm sorry. This is the <laughs> second week in a row that I've come down on. Yes, Tracy. you are just a love Tracy to death. You're gonna have uh, to apologize when you. I, I'm not apologizing for the. I'm not apologizing for anything. I'm not sorry. <laughs> it's black. Uh, I would really like to go into somebody's head that thinks it's black and blue, though. It uh, here's the so truth this of it. Is blue to you? Okay, here, black. Absolutely, it's black. That is black. Yeah, I know it matches what you pointed it, to. It's it's not even a little matches. It's not not even a little bit. <sighs> They're so unbelievably wrong. You are so wrong. I love you so much. I, I so don't wrong. know. <laughs> Anyway, what we do know is that the the dress in reality is black and blue, and what they have done is they have washed it and washed it and washed it, and that's the phenomenon of of the visual is that it's black and blue and has been washed and washed and washed. And, and so washed all the, the point, pictures that they're sending out are the washed and washed. And are the washed, washed and washed and washed and washed. Yeah. So washed. what you're saying is you see white and gold then because no. this one's the washed one. No, I see black and blue, and and, and it it's it's he's. It is. It's an amazing phenomenon. It, you know what else is an amazing phenomenon? Of, Me. Yeah. Uh, Fifty Shades of Dress. Fifty Shades of Dress. So, <gasps> so it's That's the shades. Uh, it, this is the the Fifty Shades of Dress. We're talking about yeah. the Fifty Shades 
of Jess. It, it, we are going to get into this. Uh, we're going to take a break here in just a few minutes. But when we come back... He's going to give me a quiz that I'm going to nail. Because we're going to talk about this. You went and saw Fifty Shades of Grey. I did. And I want my viewers and fans out there to not think less of me because I did not take my children. <laughs> and I would not take my children to that. Nor would I let them read the book until they're 80. So, so there is an assumption that that's why you think they would think less of you. No, I think some people would think less of people going to something like that because some people derive those books and movies as porn, basically. I wonder why. To me, though, it's a lighthearted porn. It's soft porn. <laughs> it's soft. It's soft, Jacob. <laughs> Jacob's. Jacob's upstairs. Okay, this is what I have to say real quick. Okay. okay, all right. I feel that even people can like something, whether to read it or to watch it, but mm -hmm. not, but not be, want to be that person. Oh sure, I'm. There's. I, I don't want not you to, into that stuff. I don't want you to no, think no, no. at all. I'm saying no that. No room of pain for me. No, no, no. no. But I don't want you to think that I'm saying that. It is entertaining. Yeah. But I do not want a red room of pain. Thank my you. Whole, my whole discussion about it, what I want to get into is the phenomenon of who goes and, and what you feel like when you go. Okay, y'all. Guess who I went with. Yeah. That's what we're going to get into. Okay? Okay. You because have to stay because I did go with somebody. somebody. When, you come, when we come back, you're going to find out who she went with. <gasps> dun, 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 dun. And, and that's when you're going to go. Yeah. Ew. What? Yeah. What? But it was actually very fantastic. The and show? I bought two pickles. I, bought two pickles. <laughs> <laughs> I had to buy two pickles for that movie, guys. Okay, no, let's see that, that. That's not right. That's not right at all. <gasps> that's not right at all. Movies. Okay, okay, that's that's Ugh. that's that's not right. I don't. Stay like, tuned. Yeah, I don't, stay tuned. I don't. Uh, we're not going to talk about pickles. Although I don't know how you talk about Fifty Shades of Grey without, without doing, talking about without, pickles. Without doing that, but you're going to find out what it was like. Who I went with. Who she went. Dun 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 dun. And we're going to do a little bit of uh, what the heck does Jess know about Fifty Shades of Grey? About Fifty Shades of Grey. This this uh, this episode's about Fifty Shades of Dre of Jess. Jess. Uh, I'm loving. I'm just loving the picture. Mm. When I'm just looking at it now, you look like some sort of Egyptian princess. Wait, no, my eyebrows are... F no, they're really weird. Joe looks good, though, peeking over. <laughs> <laughs> but he looks really happy, and why he would he look happy look at me entangled with another man? I just well, that's that. the whole point of Fifty, 50 Shades, Shades of, of Dress. Yeah, that's, exa that's exactly right. It's the weirdest you, we're talking about. Can I really not tell them? Who I went with? And Not yet. Oh, oh you gotta stay, You okay. gotta stay with us through the break because Jess went to fit. We even have later on when we come back, we have a picture of, of me at that movie theater and how proud she was. And I'll talk to you about how I watched it. And this is no lie. And hopefully, we'll get my bestie on the line. Yeah, to talk about her feelings on the movie too. Yeah, we're gonna we're gonna try and do that. Um, stay tuned. <laughs> stay tuned. We're going to have all that. Obviously, we're going to have Jess's mom's tip. I don't know if you'll trust it after this, but um, obviously, Gosh. she didn't go with her kids. She wouldn't have done that. Um, yeah, we'd never do that. Uh. Okay. But what you did was just as about as weird. It wasn't, though. When you hear my story, it okay. was only a little weird. I'm going to tell you a little Not story. Not a lot of weird. I'm going to tell you a little story that's going to set it up. Uh, about state, Pickles? Uh, 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 no, about this show, about Fifty Shades of Grey. Uh, so uh, we want you to stay with us <laughs> right on the other side of this break. We're going to be talking about Fifty Shades of Jess, Fifty Shades of Grey, mm -hmm. what the heck she knows, who she went with, and why when she went home she had to wash out her eyeballs. Stay with us right here on Derek and Jess. And the Family Nest.
to all of Derek's listeners. Thanks, Derek, for giving me time to share my heart's passion, encouraging cancer, long-term illness patients, and their families. Gilead is an outreach that encourages over 2,400 people in 38 states. Our goal is to bring hope and help to those on the journey through the unknowns of treatment, family stress, and spiritual questions. One such story is Eric, whose senior year in high school was interrupted by the cancer that he was diagnosed with, interrupting a three-sport high school year. It changed his life and his perspective. Today, Eric's family oversees a foundation helping to find a cure. We're currently in our 15th year. would love to have you as a partner, either as a volunteer or a gift financially. Look for us on Facebook at Gilead Ministries. Stay connected to what matters most with high-speed service from Seacom. For the home, we offer access where you need it most. Whether you're looking for high-speed internet or an in-home voice package or both, Seacom has your house covered. Send emails, download music, and surf the web with the fastest service in southeast Colorado. Our two-way wireless connections offer download speeds of up to 15 megabytes, but with a fiber connection, the sky is the limit. For the business, Seacom offers voice plans, broadband internet, BSL, and Ethernet circuits. Our fully integrated Metro Ethernet platform segregates your data traffic logically at the switch, avoiding the latency of multiple routers and quality of service overhead. With only a single router between you and our nationwide backbone carriers, you really will experience the Internet at the speed of light. We also offer point-to-point data links to connect all of your business locations. And if you're looking for carrier-grade data transport or dark fiber, look no further than Seacom's extensive privately-owned fiber network. We own and maintain our own network with more than 1,200 miles of fiber and growing throughout southeast Colorado. So whether you're looking for dark fiber, for cable, a dedicated corporate network, or carrier-grade data transport. Seacom has the answers. Visit us at seacom.net or call us at 1-800-657-7149. Seacom, world-class communications right in your backyard. Lord of mercy, here she comes. When Knuckle Energy approached country musician Colt Ford to produce an energy drink, they knew immediately it had to be as real and authentic as Colt himself. Knuckle Energy's southern style sweet tea is created using a traditional sweet tea recipe that has been passed down in Georgia from generation to generation. Using a southern tea blend as the basis, as did the Ford family and many others, What Knuckle Energy has created is a product that has a fresh, light lemon zest with an energy supplement. To make this product as authentic as possible, Knuckle Energy has crafted a product that is 100% American-made, just like Colt Ford. So at the end of the day, if you find yourself lacking that energy that you need, don't knuckle under. Chicken and biscuit. Knuckle up. Knuckle Energy drink. Find it at a come-and-go convenience store near you. Welcome back to the Derek and Jess and the Family Nest on YouTube and Blog Talk Radio. We are here talking about Fifty Shades of Jess and how freaking weird it is. (laughs) And how amazing it is. How amazing it is. Okay, so here's the point. Jess went and saw Fifty Shades of Grey. Absolutely, I did. In a theater. Absolutely, I did. In this town. Absolutely. Mahana, Colorado. Fox Theater. Absolutely. I want to say at the very beginning, I'm not putting on my judging pants. Okay? Yes, he is. No judgment here. No, no judgment here at all. I know that you wanted to see it. I wanted to see it because I read all three books. Yeah. Yeah. And I read all three books because my mom told me to. (laughs) And that brings us, first of all, uh, you you know, we're going to do a little bit of what the heck. Okay. Okay. And, and, uh, what the heck? (laughs) Come on, Jeff. Here, it was a big deal. I, not going to tell you how, but I perused through the movie. Okay? Mm Mm-hmm. Just part. But you can't, and all those people out there that have read the books and watched the movie, you can't peruse through that movie. Right. And and that's what I did, uh, just to kind of get a a little bit of a flavor, a little bit of flavor, flavor, Fifty Shades of Grey. Didn't strike me as a great, a lot like uh, the obsession of Twilight for me. 
you know, hot guy, all that kind of stuff. The movie, as far as being a movie, you know, movie wasn't that great. Didn't think it was great acting, but the hype was big. And, and so everybody wanted to go see it. You went and saw it. And here's, I thought it was so much better than I thought it was going to be. Yeah. So here's what we're going to do. We're just going to do a couple. And this one, I'm, I'm taking Wait, this one. Wait, don't you want to know who I went with? Yeah, but but first oh, I want to find okay. out a little bit. Because i got a picture coming up after this. Gotcha. Uh, that, that we're going to hold on to. So we're going to keep it on what the heck. Okay. Okay, I'm just going to. And, and I'm taking this right off of the stir. Uh, the stir.cafemom.com. Dot com. There's a little bit of a Fifty Shades of Grey quiz. Quiz. I'm going to find out what the heck Jess knows. Knows. Hopefully they know a lot. I've read yeah. them all. And, and, and it may take a little bit. This, this site's moving kind of slow. But the question is this, Jess. This is the first question. Which of the following is not a rule submissives must, must follow? follow. Hmm. I'm going to get, and this time I am going to give you the... Uh, Good. Multiple choice. Okay. Yeah, i got to read through them to make sure that they're okay. Get a minimum of seven hours of sleep a night when not with the dominant. Do not snack between meals with the exception of fruit. Do not wax without the dominant's order. Or see a personal trainer four times a week. I think it's the do not wax. Do not wax without the dominant's order. That is correct. What? That is awesome. As you can see, weirdest show probably ever guys don't you remember him saying that he's gonna go in not judging oh that's right I forgot and this and we're waiting for this to, to go up it takes quite a while but it, here's the <clears throat> here's what really gets me okay that that's something you would know about the show no it's I, reading it I I know you don't know that from the movie you would have no idea from the right movie. from read from even from reading it that that's what sticks out in my I mean that that kind of a question it's because you definitely know all the rules okay is, is that what it is I'm gonna skip think, this right here and see I think so I, I just don't okay. okay which of the which of the following in is in Christian Gray's hard, hard limits. limits okay no acts involving fire play no acts involving needles, knives, piercing, or blood. No acts involving breath control or all of the above. Holy cow. Hold on, okay, which is the following thing? <laughs> I can't believe we're seriously considering this. Fifty Shades of Dress. Dress. Fifty Shades of Jess. No acts involving fire play, no knives, try no piercing. all of the above. You're going to try all the above. When in doubt, hit all the above. And you are correct. Well, he has some intense hard limits. Yeah. Well, what? And that's kind of what makes the show, is the, you know, mm, mm. The, as good as... Uh, okay, here's the next one. What part of Christian does Anastasia make twitch? Uh-oh. His palm, his eyes, his tongue, or his leg? Which part of Christian... Does Anastasia make, make twitch? twitch? Uh, again, uh, what the heck? <laughs> what the heck? <laughs> I can't believe. It. I would say his palm. I don't know. Okay, I really this don't is know that this one. is a guess. This is a guess. Correct. You got it. We're gonna stop right there. Man, if I three was this good out of at school, three. Like three. if I was this good at school, where did Christian first? Okay, meet don't him? even answer. I'm getting this stuff off my. You know what? The government's gonna come and get me just for looking at this stuff. I think something like that. What no, the, the elevator go? No, See, I was the, right. Okay, I'm sure that you were. It it becomes more and more, and the more and more you get correct, Thanks. the more and more disturbing uh, it is. I would have gotten that right. He first yeah. kisses her in the elevator. Okay, so and the cops will not come get us. Don't be worried. Jeez. So let me set it up. Okay, Jess is proud that she's just got four out of four. She knows those. You know Christian Grey. I do. You know Anastasia. I do. You know the Fifty Shades of Grey, right? I do. Fifty Shades of Jess, Fifty Shades. I love that picture. I hate it. So, so proud to be. And yet when she was in the theater, this is what she looked like. She took a little picture and we're gonna bring it up on the screen and this is what she <laughs> This I'm one's so me. That's me. Proud, 
So proud to be sitting okay. in the theater. So proud to be where we're at. Yet I have to hide okay. in my hood. No, no, okay. Hey, he's just making up stories. He has no idea. I, have I no never idea. said I was proud to go to the movies. Oh, okay. I wanted to go to the movies. I it's, needed to go I to the movies. I was proud to becoming a mother. Would I say I was proud to go to the movies? No. But I wanted to go, so I went. And yes, I definitely pulled my hood up over the sex scenes. Because there was people in the audience that I know. Did you think that there wasn't going to be anybody else in the audience you I know? was hoping for it. Why didn't why you didn't wear a, hope for it? Why didn't you go with, with a big bag on your head or I something? I didn't care if people saw me, but during the sex scenes, I wanted to cover my face from being the color of Tracy's sweatshirt. Which is black and blue, by the way. That is red! Okay, all right. Well, red I'm and white. Not quite sure. I don't, I'm not buying that. Okay, so I got to share a little story. About that me? I thought it was funny. A little bit, but not really. More about Tracy. Oh. So, uh, I see Tracy at, uh, I think, Friday night's show of A Midsummer Night's Dream. Yes. Your mom was there. Yes. Joe was there. Yes. And I saw Tracy, and I said, Tracy, I saw the picture of you and Jess at the movies. It looked like you, you know, with, and she said, you know what? It was great. And she said, I even brought a couple things with me. And she said she had a little tiny thing that was kind of a paint that was of 50 shades she, of because gray. Because she, she, their family runs the, the hardware, hardware store. store. And so she brought me and my guest the, the that guest, I brought. The and guest. My, and I, her husband and herself, the little paint shades. Mm -hmm. And there was like six different shades of gray, which is perfect. Yep. And then a little piece of rope. And a little tiny whip, and she said, just in case anybody was in the mood. To hurt us. We would have hurt them with these ropes. <laughs> During awkward scenes, when I was turtling it by pulling my head up, and I was awkward, I was hitting the screen. So you're saying that rope. there were times that it was awkward. Absolutely, I was awkward. Here's yeah. the beauty of it. I don't understand why it wasn't awkward all the time, because your guest at the movie theater of 50 shades of gray that of which 20 out of the 100 and minutes of the show were the sex scenes was wait for it who my mom her mother okay she took her mother okay. to see 50 shades okay. of gray first of all my mother is the one that brought me the book and says here read it. it's really good i'm also a almost 32 year old woman it's not like she's taking her 17 year old daughter and it was not awkward for her. She's just like sitting up there with no hood. Proud as can be watching the soft pool. No, no Proud hood for as Jeannie. can be. No hood for Jeannie. No. Nope. Jeannie's right there cracking the whip. All I hear is like, oh, she's just open her teeth. Okay, oh, there she goes. There's the pickle. There we go. She's just, she's carefree. She's having a good old time. And then the Tracy fish. and I are like, oh, oh, didn't we just do it? And my mom's like, mm, mm, oh, oh. Mm -hmm. Pass the popcorn, Jess. I can't, I can't. What was what was probably worse is Pass that there the was pickle. some people in that in that um, movie theater room that um, yep. are like my parents' age that I knew from when I was little, and that was a bit awkward. A bit. Just a smidge. My mom, it wasn't awkward with my mom. My mom is chillaxed. She be chill. I was like, she was chill. <laughs> Fifty Shades of Grey, it's a family affair. No, it's no, not No, it a is not affair. a family affair. No, no. Not Disney at it all. It is not Disney, and it is not PG. No. And the pride in which you can stroll into the theater is reflected in this picture. Oh uh, my gosh. Jess and, and, and Tracy. This is just a documented portrait of one sex scene. It wasn't the movie. It wasn't like I walked in like not wanting to be seen. I was saying, hey, what up to everybody around? But uh, during the, the scenes, the infamous scenes, I was like, oh my God. Is somebody looking at me? Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. As if there was this belief that the, in that the I was theater, not there. I know. Or, or this belief of. Hey, there's the sex scenes. Let's all turn around and look at Jess. Okay, my husband even thinks it's weird that I went to this movie because I'm the type of person when I see people kiss on screen, I'm like, oh yeah. my gosh, I don't like it. I'm like, I'm good. And you expected something to be different? 
I don't know what I was expecting. I kind of was hoping that it would just go quick. 50 shades of Jess. Awesome. I do want to add in, and then we'll get Brilliant. to the mom's tip. Uh, Morgan, who sent the, the My email in. in. Yeah. At the end of that email, last week we talked a little bit about Fifty Shades of Grey, uh, and and I believe her, her 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 quote was something like, "Oh, and by the way, Fifty Shades of Grey." I agree with Derek. Faux show. Uh, she agreed with. Did she say faux show? Faux show. I. Or she, she did agree with off. Derek because she thought it would be awkward. But I think Morgan would feel awkward seeing it with her mom. I don't think she. Nobody knows my relationship with my mom. It's very, it's cool now because I'm an adult and she treats me as such. She's not like, you're my 14 year old girl and no, you can't. Okay. But Morgan did call me Jessie. Oh, I had to put her in check. Uh oh. It was Jess. Jessica. And that's what bothers you? Mm -hmm. <laughs> mm -hmm. After all of this, though, Absolutely. I can guarantee you, you can still rely on Jess for outstanding mom tips. Yes. I really do have solid ones, except the elf on the shelf that Derek had a problem with. Still, he's still shooting with poor bear on a share. I just... <laughs> hey, Jimbo, let's bring up, uh, let's bring up the, the mom tips. Is it song. English? I'm not sure which one it is. It's up to Jimbo. Fifty Shades of Grey. <laughs> Cheery. Oh, Fifty Shades of Grey. Awesome. Fifty Shades of Grey. Jess's mom tip. We love it. My mom thinks I'm awesome. Accurate. And Jess's mom okay. tip of the day is what? Okay. I'm going to go with a the theme. Do not let your children watch Fifty Shades. <laughs> That's not my... I, that is a tip. And stick with it. Stick with it. I'm even thinking like seriously. But your mother did. 18 and under. No. Nope. Your mom no, let I'm, her daughter see Fifty Shades of Grey. I'm talking even even seniors in high school. I think if your kids are still in your house, yeah, I would sug highly suggest not to. But when they are out, obviously they're doing what they want. Wear a giant hoodie. No, just don't let them. Okay. But that's not my real mom's tip. My real mom's what is tip real is mom's tip? Um, make it a priority. Most of the time, I know sometimes there are exceptions, but yeah. make it a priority to eat dinner with your family. That is a great, again, And fantastic. at a table, don't just like put your food on your plate and then walk into another room talking on the phone and then your kids are just sitting there or one's sitting there and the other one's at the laptop and actually, my, that's how I was raised. Make it a priority and mm -hmm. we always went around and talked about our days, our highs and lows. And um, my family always does. And yeah, I have young kids and I know, like I said, exceptions. Yeah. Your kids, when they get older, they start, you know, sports and all this stuff. But right. make it a priority <clears throat> to prioritize mm -hmm. that above all. Yeah. And it does. It gets much harder. I can tell you, we started yeah. off, that was a priority for us. We tried as best, you know, we tried yeah. always to, and had wonderful discussions around the table. And you make it like arguments. twice a week. You, you try, you <clears throat> just like, yeah. and if they have an excuse, you just say, you can't. We, this is this is yeah. what has to happen and then then stephanie graduated and went on to college and then it was us three and and i'll be the first one to say it gets harder and harder especially you got an 18 year old uh, yeah, uh senior yeah. in second semester who's very busy and a, and a wife who doesn't get home until yeah. it gets tougher and tougher but it does. boy i'll tell you what just try to be because i know there yeah. are exceptions but try to make it because yeah. it's good for the family it, it makes the kids feel uh, loved by you asking about their day it's good for them and right it it, it really it, i would i would say um that even e even if you know that it's going it, and you know it will get, get harder it harder will get harder, harder and harder and less the and more less older and, or the more independent and older they get but it makes a huge difference even early even if you mm -hmm. even if you make it as they're early you know young mm -hmm. And then it starts. People remember that, and I can t I can tell you this: uh, we have hard, such a hard time doing it that when we are able to do it, it becomes a special thing for us. Because the first thing we say is, "Oh my gosh, we're all sitting around the table," and we have uh, we have wonderful discussions and 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 all of that. So that is a, that's a fantastic mom's tip. What, what? In conjunction with 
After you're done eating, do not watch. Fifty don't Shades. take your child to see Fifty Shades of Grey, or don't let him read the book. That is totally a uh, young adult, and by young adult, I mean a 19-year-old. <laughs> by young adult, I mean 45 <laughs> years old. Uh, it is definitely uh, a mature read and a mature view. So, yeah. definitely, that is a mom's tip in keeping with our theme. Is just no fifty. Shows. I know I I wouldn't let my kids read the book under my roof. I mean, when they go off to college, that's where they learn. That's where they are independent. But I I would be very firm with that's that's a mommy book. That's yeah. a mommy book. Yeah. We want to remind you that you can uh, email us and and email us. Do that. D and J Nest at gmail.com if you're if you're listening to this uh, uh, go and email us and tell us did you go see yes. 50 shades of Grey? and what you thought if you thought it was more awkward and yeah. weird like derek or yeah. if you thought it was oh so awkward amazing. and weird like derek what well, is you said you didn't like it oh i thought you meant like i was no, awkward and weird no you thought you didn't said you think the acting was awkward yeah, I See, didn't I, like I, I, I was pleasantly, I was going in thinking it was going to be horrible acting. I was, if you would have read the book, you would have actually liked her. I thought her acting was very in keeping with the way the book was written. I, I didn't like it. But what, what you actually said was, if you think it's awkward and weird like Derek. You could see <laughs> where I would get a little bit of. True, uh, that's true. You can also check us out at Twitter. Uh, at uh, with the handle D and J Nest, you can find us uh, Facebook Derek and Jess and the family Nest. We've got a little bit of time, uh, and I are don't, you going to finish the questions? Uh, no, no, I don't care if you know any more about that. You know too much. You got four out of four. It disturbs me that you know that anyway. What I did want to do, and I don't have a, I don't, we don't have a picture of it. I wasn't planning on doing this, but on our Facebook. Uh -huh. At Derek and Jess and the family nest. I'm I'm wondering if you saw because I wanted to ask and we've got I'm about going to it right now. We got about five minutes, so go yes. to our uh, go to our Facebook and it's that. it's it's probably let me see where it's at. If you scroll down, it, it should be pretty much at the top of Derek and Jess. Of Derek and Jess, um, it is actually a, a an article that I found and it's entitled uh, the Baby Box. Have you seen? Oh, that? I okay. I saw you post that, but I haven't been able to. Do look you know at what it. it is? No. What is it? Well, underneath of it, it says, "You better hope a baby box is never used, but it's better than the alternative." Churches and organizations and some of these th things. It's an actually an article that comes from uh, the IJReview.com that they picked up. <clears throat> Think back in in olden days, because that's where the the kind of the stereotype comes from—a church or whatever. Right. A family doesn't want their baby anymore and instead of abandoning them and throwing them in a they put it in a baby box this is actually in the door okay so they put the baby that they want to get rid of in the box hit the button and then the people in there will know I have an abandoned baby they're putting them in there instead of saying don't throw your baby in the trash can don't don't do anything if you can't you know if you can't take it, if you can't, then come and put it. It will be well, safe. That, that it is will a be safer safe place here. than a dumpster, but why somebody I, would... I think the sad thing about it is is that they haven't... And I think that's why it says down that you better hope a baby box is never used, but it's better than the alternative. And so that that's an interesting thing. On Derek and Jess and the Family Nest, we put a lot of things about kids. We put yes, a lot of things family about stuff. family stuff. Mm -hmm. I saw this article, and it was it was very interesting. But... They're putting them in there. You know the old story of we left you on the church steps. Right. And, and the nun found you and everything. Well, they're starting to put these in so that uh, the individuals will be alerted. Wow. Oh, there's a baby there. We've so is there get one to of those quickly. in Lana? No, I don't think so. Um, I, 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 but, um, and this one comes, like I said, from IJ Review. And it says, uh, the, wow. the strange thing is, and, and I bring this up only because... Uh, it's my home state. 
the state of Indiana. Indiana may soon become the first state to allow the use of baby boxes as a way for mothers to safely abandon their newborns. The Indiana State House unanimously passed a bill last week that allows for the placement of newborn incubators or baby boxes outside churches, fire stations, hospitals, and selected nonprofits. Wow. State of Indiana, my home state, Jimbo's home state. Never knew they had boxes like they, that. Evidently they don't, and, and wow. Indiana may become the first state to allow them uh, to do that, to say that that's actually legal to put them outside of those safe places where wow. you, you hope that it would be a place that would, if, if something like that came up, that would be a safe place and not something where people now say, oh, it's just easy to get rid of my kid. I know. So there's a little bit of a balance there, and I'm sure, I'm not sure how this will end up in the state of Indiana. Um, but but if it, it, you never know if it goes great, then every state's going to want to do it. Right. And so what happens is mm. it closes up. It keeps the baby warm and, and oh. keeps, you know, it, it protects the baby until they can get to it and, it, and, and the baby's fine and, and all that. So I, I think wow. one of those things is great and, ooh, don't, don't know about it. So I wanted to put that on. The, those are the kind of stories that you find at Derek and Jess and the Family Nest. Uh, good and the bad, I mean, you could scroll down and hit this wonderful story about a baby box and then find a great little video with kids singing about how they want their mommy to kiss their, their, their bad toe. And, and two, uh, two scroll downs later, you're seeing Jess at Fifty Shades of Grey. It's a very eclectic, very all-encompassing group. <laughs> But we also post funny videos and stuff. Absolutely. We post also... And talented videos. And if you uh, if you are local, all kinds of things. As I News. said before, bam, two-hour delay. You don't have to check anywhere. Just all you have to do Derek is go to Derek and Jess and the Family Nest. Every day, East Otero School District, Primary School, Intermediate School, the Hunter Junior High School, there. Plus, it's more entertaining. Yes. Come on. What's I mean, going on? The calendar for the week. So if your son or daughter, they don't tell you anything, Derek and Jess in the Family Nest. We will. We'll tell you we'll everything. Tell you. We got to go. It's we do. It. Fifty Shades of Jess has done. been fantastic. Uh, we don't know what we're going to be we doing We will never next. show that video again. Or not the video, the picture. I'm putting the picture on Facebook. No, it's so creepy. That's creepy. <laughs> so creepy. <laughs> See, it's that creepy. Is, I, I, I like it. There, you're going to find all kinds of things. There, is, uh, there she is right there. So creepy. Fifty Shades of Jess. We want to thank you for listening and uh, watching and encourage you every Tuesday, Tuesday. now. Tuesday. Look to for watch. that. Just go to Derek and Jess and the Family Nest at the very top. It's going to be pinned to the top. You can go to DerekandJess.net and it will be there. So for everybody here at The Road Less Traveled, for everybody here at Derek and Jess, for Jess, for Joe, and for, for Christian, Christian Gray. Gray, for Jimbo, we want to thank you for watching and uh, encourage you every, every, every Tuesday. 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 Check it out. Check out Derek and Jess. And the Family Nest. God bless.